Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome to another What's for Dinner video. If you're new around here, my name is Tiffany. Here on this channel, we like to do What's for Dinner videos, meal inspiration videos, among other things. So if that's something you're interested in, we'd love to have you as part of the family. In this week's video, we are keeping it real. It's been busy around here, so we're doing some meals that you can get on the table quickly, things that are easy, and also some fun things like copycat hash brown casserole from Cracker Barrel. So stick around and we'll get right to it. This first recipe is a Little Smokies recipe. We were originally going to put this in a crock pot. You could absolutely do that, but I ended up just cooking it on the stove top. We love Little Smokies around here. This is just a new recipe we were trying out. So for it, you will need some barbecue sauce, ketchup, some brown sugar, some Worcestershire sauce, some onion powder and garlic powder, and then salt and pepper. All of the recipes will be down in the description box so you can check them out if you want to, but for this one you're going to need a cup of barbecue sauce, about one third cup of ketchup, and the same amount, about one third cup of brown sugar. I'm also gonna put in a teaspoon each of the garlic powder and the onion powder. Then I'll put in a little bit of salt and pepper. You're going to want about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. I was about out, so I just poured in what I had left. Then we're going to stir it all together. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this package of Little Smokies, y'all. <laughs> it said it was easy open, but here I am, struggling. I went back to the knife and just cut that sucker open because I wasn't gonna stand there and fight it. I'm gonna get all of those in my skillet and then we'll put that sauce on top and start heating it up. I covered these and cooked them on about medium, medium high heat for 20-25 minutes until they were heated through and bubbly, all that good stuff. And here they were finished, we were about to serve them. We had it with some broccoli with cheese sauce and some rice and this was a quick easy dinner that everyone enjoyed and we'll definitely be doing this recipe again. Up next, copycat Cracker Barrel Hash Brown Casserole. This was a good one, y'all. It did take a little while to cook, but so worth it. You're gonna need a pack of shredded hash browns. That's a 30 ounce pack. Some sour cream, cream of chicken, soup, some Colby cheese. I just went ahead and got a block that I shredded, but you're gonna need about two cups of that. Some butter and salt and pepper. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and melt my butter, get it started melting, otherwise I'll forget about it and it'll come time for it and I'll have to stop everything to melt butter. So I'm going to get that started and then I'm going to shred my cheese. You want about two-ish cups. You'll see in the end I added even more cheese, so 
I guess it just depends on how cheesy you want it. I shredded some of that up and set aside half a cup to three quarters of a cup to put on the top. But like I said, I ended up putting even more. So to that, I'm going to add my can of cream of chicken soup. I'm also going to add about half a cup of sour cream. some salt and pepper and then I'm gonna go ahead and dump in that bag of hash browns so hear me out it would have probably stirred up and combined a lot easier if I would have thawed those hash browns out that's what I'll probably do next time and then poured in that half a cup of melted butter. We're going to give everything a good stir. Like I said, it took it took a little bit because with the hash browns being so cold and frozen, all that good stuff, but we made it work. Next time, I'll just let them thaw out a little bit before I start mixing everything together. I'm going to spray my baking dish here and we're going to go ahead and dump that in. I did pack it in there just a little bit. I didn't, I didn't pack it really tight, but I, I packed it down and then we put the cheese that we reserved earlier on the top. And then I pulled out some shredded cheese that I had in the refrigerator and put a little more on the top just because I felt like it's what it needed. I covered this with some tin foil, stuck it in the oven, tin foil, aluminum foil, what is it? I don't know, I usually just call it tin foil. <laughs> stuck it in the oven, 375 for about 30 minutes, and then I took the tin foil off the top and let it go for about another 15 minutes. Justin's a breakfast person around here. He's usually the one cooking breakfast, so I put him in charge of bacon and eggs, and we had that alongside our hash brown casserole with some fresh cut cantaloupe. Again, this was a hit in our family. Everybody seemed to enjoy it. It did take a little while to cook, but it was super simple to put together and a great dinner. This last one, I debated on even showing you because it's so easy, y'all. We had steamed corn with pizza rolls. We've got ball games and everything else going on right now, and sometimes I just need something that's really easy. You do have to cook this for a little while, but I can put it in there, get it started, and then not really worry about it. Not have to put a whole lot of thought into it. Audrey's helping me out on this night. We're using some frozen corn we had from last year's garden and we're putting it in our can cooker. She sprayed the inside of that with a little bit of non-stick spray. Not sponsored. We just love the can cooker. If you've been around here a while, you've seen us use it before. My mom got it for Justin for his birthday and we love it. 12 ounces of water goes in, some salt, and then you're also going to see her put some, is it tahini? Am I pronouncing that right? Some tahini seasoning on the top. We found that we really enjoy that on corn. And we just go ahead and put it in there while it's steaming. I'm going to go ahead and fasten this lid up and put it on medium heat. Once it starts steaming, we're going to time it for about 40 minutes and it'll be good to go. Like I mentioned, we had this with some pizza rolls. Nothing to write home about, but y'all, that corn on the other hand, that is. That is so good. Look at that butter on there and that seasoning. Please and thank you. 
simple dinner. We ate real quick and then ran off to a ball game. Thank y'all for watching. Hope you got some real life meal inspiration. We love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye y'all.